Today I learned about what we like to call basic needs, which if I'm understanding correctly, basic needs are things that we basically need. For example, aliens need milk. We learned about that one. I need mac and cheese and squids need hugs. You might be thinking to yourself, oh. <laughs> and don't worry, don't worry, because I'm not here to just teach you how to paint. I'm here to teach you some valuable lessons. So picture this, you're on a boat in the, in what looks to be some, uh, maybe New York. <laughs> and and your captain goes, wow, this is a, we're having a great day on this boat. And you say, yeah, I mean, yeah, this a, we're having a good time on this boat. Captain <laughs> and the captain says, "Oh, uh oh!" And and the, the scary music starts playing. But the, where was I? What what was I saying? Oh yeah, the captain's like, "Whoa, dude, that squid!" And you say, "Squid? What?" He goes, <laughs> "He goes, that squid is coming for us." And you say, "Oh no, that's a giant squid, Captain. I see it. It's big. You have two options here. Option one: the squid inevitably is it's going to hug something. Okay, you've seen the movies. The squid thinks the boat might be something to hug." <laughs> Saying <laughs> and if you if you let the squid if you let the squid hug the boat game over you're done you know all the crew cap captain gone <laughs> captain's out of here you're gone and that's that's fine if you want to go that option but option two you jump in that water and you give that squid the hug that it so basically needs you, you might i don't know you might not make it but you saved lives all right you saved all all the lives of the people on board you saved you saved new york all right i'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that the squid would have taken out new york also so now when there's a giant squid coming at your boat you'll remember this little lesson on basic needs and everything will be fine <laughs> that was so long that was so drawn out but you might be thinking, Kevin, why are you, t what, what was the point of all that? Basically, to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, I'm going to paint option one on a painting that's already been painted because I'm bored. And you can do it too when you're bored. All right, you know how it goes. Get the painting out of the picture frame by any means necessary. This painting's really good, and shout out to whoever painted it. I'm gonna paint a squid that's like attacking the boat. And don't forget the mac and cheese. I want it to be like a dark purplish, almost black kind of color. Uh, so I just went for it. I wanted the legs or the tentacles or whatever to like wrap around the boat and cause a ruckus. Decided to paint the captain being like attacked. Ah! I even decided to add a little fire because why not? I feel like something would catch on fire. like an octopus than a squid, but whatever, let's just not talk about it.
this one came out pretty good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I have so much fun making these. If you're new here, consider subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you for making it this far. I like you guys. I like you guys. <laughs> Peace out.